mate, I just picked up a stick. Just gonna make a couple of lines of it. Give me a bit of a bit of a spacing. Uh probably check the packet, eh? That might be a good idea. What do we need? Uh, da, da. Mm, yeah, nah. They should tell you how deep these things should be planted. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Hector Homesteader. In today's episode we'll show you how we grow our microgreens. Um, quite an easy process. Um, our other microgreens came to end of life. So um, yeah, time to start another batch. So hey, why not? Let's take you along and uh, hopefully you'll learn something from this video and find some value out of it. Right, let's grab some compost for our microgreens we're going to grow. So yeah guys, uh, microgreens we are growing today. Uh, let's have a look what this is. Uh, flavors of the Mediterranean. So um, we are having a blend of basil Italian mix, uh, rocket and sunflower seeds. And um, yeah, it says 2,800 seeds in here. So that should go, go a long, long way, hopefully. Uh, so all year and uh, we can harvest the, within two weeks. So that's sort of what the packet looks like. Um, so yeah, let's uh, give this a go and um, see how it works. So, we've got our seeds, we've got our tray, just a tray that I found through um, all our bits and bobs that we have around. And um, yeah, process is pretty easy. So what we're going to do, um, first things first, take our compost we've uh, got from the garden centre, um, we bought in bulk, spread it out nicely, hold it, fill it like that. Here's a hat for that guy. Uh, give it a bit of a, a bit of a stem down. You don't need much. You only need uh, about a half inch of this uh, microgreens that we're growing doesn't need much. So um, yeah, uh, next step we need to make some lines somehow, let's get that. Right, I just picked up a stick, just going to make a couple of lines of it, give me a bit of a bit of a spacing. Uh, probably check the packet, eh? That might be a good idea, what do we need? Uh, da, da. Mm, yeah, nah. They should tell you how deep these things should be planted. Uh, sow the seeds thinly and cover with a fine layer of soil, there you go. Actually does say it on me. Eh? Yeah, sometimes you just need to read the packet, eh? <laughs> Righty folks, go uh, make a couple of lines. I have some nice lines in there. Um, you don't really have to. Uh, you can just take another bit of uh, soil and just put it over the top. We've got enough space for that. Do another cross line over there. Just so we uh, have something that we can cover. So there we go, nice and, uh, and loose. Yeah. Right, let's open this up and see what we get inside. Uh, what do we got? Oh, there's a couple of packets there. Right. A couple of packets. So we got a sunflower. We got one marked as rocket. And there's our basil. So yeah, looking forward to, to trying these guys out. Generally these seeds are so small and tiny. And um, yeah. Planting them can be quite interesting. So I like to plant them together, grouped together, so you can uh, get the different flavours. It's up to you. You can mix them all or just group them. Uh, so the seeds are quite small. Hope you can see that. So let's just take a couple of those and uh, spread them around like that. Basil over there, a bit of basil over there, and a bit of basil over there. Right. Uh, more basil. So I'm just trying to divide this up in thirds. So each packet is a third. And um, yeah, that should be more than enough. So we'll cover those guys, keeping in mind where your line was, where you sort of stop. I'll just draw a line on my finger there. Draw another figure line there, so we know. Right, what's going to be next? What do you reckon? 
rocket. Get some rocket in here. I do like a bit of rocket though. It's got a nice, a nice flavour. Not everybody loves it, but um, um, for this, it's a good example. So, we've got these little seeds. They're also nice and tiny. Again, just a little bit enough to go around in here, and we're just going to sprinkle them. I might need more than that. Sprinkle them all over. So. Um, Within those two lines, get our rocket, spread them out a little bit. These rockets usually take off, I guess that's why they call them rocket, eh? Right, there you go. How about that? Okay, so we've got rocket over there. Then, sunflower. Let's get the sunflower sorted. Sunflowers, these are quite big seeds, eh? Hmm, looks like standard sunflower seeds. Oh, let's see what it's like. Let's see what it's like. Chuck those guys in there. Oh, Mr. B, welcome. You need to come and pollinate a bit of flower a bit, eh? Alright, these things are starting to blow away in the wind. Sorry, guys, this wind is terrible. Okay, get those sunflowers in there. Close them up. I'm not being too precise as you can see, I mean, it can be a little bit rough with these. Just get them in the ground, that's the main thing, get them covered with the ground. As long as they've got ground and a bit of soil around them, these things take off like you can't believe. Two weeks and they there. Right, so we'll take you along as they grow and, uh, and show you what we've got. We'll do another little row here. And just leave these outside. Put them in a place where they get a bit of sun outside. And it should be good. I'll just add a little bit of a layer of compost over it. You can see some of the seeds still sticking out. So uh, yeah, once we do that, then uh, it should be right. Okay, here we go. Sunflower seeds are in. Let's get this covered with some more compost. Right, add another layer on top of that. Just a little bit, just enough to cover it, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so I'll just do this gently by hand. Just a little bit over there. And she'll be A4 away. Right. It's good to have a tray that's got the holes in the bottom. That way um, excess water can drain out. Nice free draining soil. Um, perfect for this, uh, this sort of growing we're doing. And uh, real easy. I mean, you can do this inside. You can do this in your house. You don't really need to have a uh, big space. Right. Maybe add a little bit more on here. And there you go. Too easy. Right. Let's start to water it in. I like using my gardenia sprayer. That's really nice set it to a really low um, spray volume have a look ooh this hose hopefully the pump will kick in shortly that should be alright I do like the function that it's got to lock you can just press it and lock it and uh, yeah pretty good right let's uh, get these guys wet put them in get them a bit of water see where the water runs out the bottom and then we know we're all good, hey? Okay. Oh, that should be enough. You can see the water coming up. Right, folks, and there you have it. Quick and easy way to plant your um, microgreens. We'll go and uh, put them in a good sunny spot. Get some plenty of sun. And then um, hopefully from there they'll just take off. So here you go, guys. That's how we grow our microgreens. Uh, different method than the previous um, lot we had so um, something to try uh, you can use containers whatever you have go around the house uh, sometimes you go out you get a takeaway and you get some food in a nice little plastic food container um, you can use those and uh, put a couple of stick a couple of them uh, um, next to one another and plant each of those different varieties in each one and uh, when they get to the stage where you can harvest them 
just take the scissors and cut them off so yeah hope you like this video if this is the sort of content that you'd like to see please consider um, giving this video a, a thumbs up or a like subscribe if you um, want to see more of this content and we look forward to seeing you on the next video cheers